What's going on guys, welcome back to another episode. And today, we're taking out this thing. We're gonna go do some pow pow spear fishing in the Merc um, with a good buddy of mine named David. Uh, hopefully we can go and grab some stuff. So, see you guys in the water. Today's episode should be fun. Pray for some fish. We're gonna go out there, see what happens. Pray for no sharks. Like I said in the intro guys, we're over here hunting for some pow pow in the Merc. Once again with David. Today I'm rocking a new gun, got a reel on my gun this time, um, it's about 90 centimeters, and so super pumped to test out this gun with a reel. I've lost a few pow pow just because my old gun didn't have a reel, so I'm super stoked to try this out. So again, the target species today are golden trevally. Golden trevally are a beautiful bright yellow or gold colored fish with a narrow black stripe through the eye and about 7 to 12 vertical black bands that run across the body. As the fish matures, the yellow becomes more silvery and iridescent and the black stripes also fade and black spots appear on the side of the body. Golden trevallis have plump, fleshy lips and an extendable mouth, and in young animals, only a few small teeth are present in the lower jaw. Golden trevallis frequent sandy bottoms and coral drop-offs, and that's what we're hunting today. Uh, this coral drops off towards a very sandy bottom with a lot of silt, and the golden trevallis will be hunting up and down that column for crabs, shrimp, and uh, small fish. So really the name of the game is you dive down and you go only about five to 10 feet off the coral drop off and you just wait. Um, you can do techniques like grunting and perhaps scratching coral, but really it's just a waiting game and you're staring off into the murk hoping that a golden trevally will pass. Oftentimes other fish like lua, bluefin trevally, uh, sharks, avas uh, will also pass this drop off and you can be very opportunistic with your hunts as well. I've seen a few decent sized Toao, Alihi, and Uhu as well. Really anything can swim by, but the main fish I see swim by are Pow Pow and Lai. Here's an example of this technique into practice. Uh, this is my dad's camera, and right now he's on the drop off in some silty and murky conditions. All he's doing is waiting. He's grunted a few times, and surely he's just looking around, hoping that a Pow Pow comes by, and instead these small little Amilus come by, and he takes one of those as well. Again, you can see anything on these dives and we're able to take this one back to the kitchen and cook it up. This is one of the first drops of the day. I think this is my third or fourth. And we're over here hunting at a point on the reef where we've been pretty lucky with some solid pow pow in the past. This spot is also notorious for shark passing, so I'm staying cautious. Sure enough, I start to see a silver fish come out of the murk and it was a huge lie, but my safety was on. And by that time, the lie was already gone. This goes to show just how little time you truly have to react to fish. You can be sitting out here for hours upon hours and see a fish come by with only a five second window to take the shot. You really need to be aware and constantly looking so that when that fish passes, you take that opportunity. A few more dives later and I see a pow pow barely in the murk. I take the shot and turn on my camera just in time and my reel starts screaming. I made sure that the drag wasn't too tight but also wasn't too loose so the fish wouldn't take all my line out. You really want to get these fish back in as soon as possible because there are so many sharks off these drop offs and they love the murky water over here as well. I brought David's roller gun down to see if I needed a second shot but it looked like it was a solid holding shot for a second in the back until I looked at the other end and I realized the shaft didn't even go through. Fortunately we were able to get that pow pow under control and this was a solid 5-6 to six pound pow pow in the bag. That just goes to show the importance of having these reels. If I didn't have a reel on my gun, this pow pow surely would have been off my spear the second it had tension. With all fish, the first thing you want to do is brain your fish and bleed it. This does two things for you that you're going to want as a spear fisherman in Hawaii. First of all, it makes sure that the fish is put out of its misery as soon as possible. And bleeding the fish out also will preserve the meat for the best quality. Second of all, sharks are less likely to be attracted by blood than they are to be attracted by a thrashing fish. As soon as you're able to get that fish to stop thrashing in the water, the chance of sharks to come at you are also diminished. However, once that first fish is shot, it's kind of like a ticking time bomb until a shark does show up, and you'll see that later on in the video. Super stoked in this pow pow, haven't shot one in about 10 months, so really really stoked to be back and get this fish on the stringer. I always love the vibrant colors that these fish pose and they're just a beautiful fish in general. Really really soft meat that's very sweet, good for poke and other things such as frying and smoking. The meat is so sweet because of the types of food they eat. They eat lots of mollusks and crabs 
and those types of food tend to have sweeter meat anyway so the pow pow in general is a really good tasting fish in comparison to other trevally species such as omilus and oluas bringing this fish back to the boat super super stoked we still have a lot of sunlight to go and the day is not over yet so gotta get onto some more pow pow action suddenly on my way back i hear a gun go off and i see david racing to the surface his line is going out so fast and i already know that this fish is huge i don't know what david has shot yet but i'm assuming it's a pow pow just because of how it's been fighting and where it's been shot i go down to investigate and i suddenly see a giant figure appear from the merc i try and come over and take a shot at his pow pow to get a secondary shot but the pow pow is just spraying up so much sand so i try to untangle david's line in hopes that it doesn't tear off from the tension but it, it runs again and i see it over to my right i'm starting to run out of oxygen so i know this is my only shot to take a backup fortunately i plug it in the head and now it's just a matter of untangling the line and trying to get it before a shark comes up and sneaks david tries to go down and get it but doesn't come back up with the fish so i decide to go down and see what's going on I see the fish struggling and the fish is losing a ton of blood and it's put up a ton of sand so I'm trying to get this fish in very very soon and as I start to handle the fish I start to realize how big this pow pow was and David actually weighed this fish I think it came out to be 11.6 or something like that so this was David's first pow pow alua super stoked for him it was a decent fish eventually we managed to get this huge fish up to the surface and Super, super stoked for him. This is a solid fish. Right here, I'm looking off into the Merc, trying to see if there are any Omilus that come by or Pow Pow that come by as David is down there on the ledge. We're back at the point where David shot his 11.6 pound Pow Pow, so hoping that another one flies by. David suddenly comes up to the surface and tells me to go down there, but a huge shadow comes out from the Merc and I realize a shark pinpointed on his exact location. I assume that he's probably going to make another pass, so I go down and swim down, trying to get some footage on the GoPro to show y'all. You really want to be careful with these kinds of sharks because these oceanic black tips are no joke. Oceanic black tip sharks will come into the bay to pup and then they'll go back out to deeper water. This is my first time seeing one and didn't want to stay too long, so we called it a day and headed back to the boats to go. That wraps up this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the pow pow spearfishing trip. We're still going to go out and go and try and get some more pow pow before the summer ends. So stay tuned for that. I have about seven videos in the making. So <laughs> I have a ton of things to edit. Um, if you want to get some sneak peeks at all the action, go follow me on Instagram at Pacific Boys Fish and Dive. But other than that, y'all have a great day. God bless and I'll see y'all on the next adventure. Shoot.